Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video I know I probably say this about loads of videos on my channel how excited I am because I love filming videos but this video I am probably the most excited to tell you about because I just feel like it is an amazing find at auction. So I'm really excited to get into the video. I do wanna say, I do apologize about my voice. I have been ill for the last five days and I've wanted to film this video for the last five days. And it's really annoying me that sometimes my voice just completely goes and I just cannot film. But today I have put some makeup on, got ready, and I'm gonna film the video. But yeah, you're gonna notice my voice is probably gonna be a bit crackly, a bit annoying. It's like that annoying cold voice. My ears, I can't hear properly. My ears are blocked. So I even sound funny to myself. So I do apologize for that, but I did share this on my stories on Instagram. And I just feel really bad that I haven't filmed and uploaded the video yet because I've been ill. So yeah, I wanted to just get it done so I can show you guys what I have found. And also so I can dive into this stuff and start using it. So I did buy a hamper of beauty products from Auction. It's from John Pie Auctions. I will leave the Auction company link down below. I am very, very pleased with what I got. I have a huge box down here, which I'm gonna unbox everything and show you everything that I've got. But I just wanted to tell you how much I spent on it first. So you kind of know, you know, how much it's cost, delivery charges, all of that sort of interesting stuff, and how much all of these bits are worth if I bought them at retail price. As I go through the video and show you every item, I am gonna just pop on the screen the cost of it, RRP. And when I say the RRP, some of these items were actually quite hard to find. They're brands that I've not heard of before, or maybe they're things that have been discontinued. I'm not really sure how these things have ended up in this hamper. Um, but they are all brand new, apart from one item that does not look new. But apart from that, they are all brand new items. But yeah, I have already opened everything up just because um, I wanted to be able to add it all together and tell you at the beginning of the video how much I paid and how much it's worth because that's obviously the most exciting part of this. So I actually won the hamper at auction for £70. Um, and on the auction listing, it kind of shows you a, a big picture of the hamper like put together. It's like a randomly put together hamper. It's in like a plastic basket. Obviously, I'm going to show you in a minute, so we can talk about that in a minute. But And I think they kind of categorise products by the colour of the packaging because I noticed different hampers on there. There was like an orange one, a green one, a pink one, and all the products matched. So I think that's the way that they put these products together. I can't see any other reason because they're like such a random mix of stuff. So I just went through and they have a few separate pictures of a couple of products that are in the hamper. They've like picked out the best products and put a photo of them in the description. So I had my eye on a couple of hampers, but you probably have, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen my video that I did about a year ago where I bought a load of John Lewis returns at auction. That video <laughs> was, I mean, <laughs> I've been traumatised since buying that palette. I spent a hell of a lot of money on it. But it was one of the most fun videos and one of the most popular videos on my channel. So I feel like it has all been worth it. But it did traumatise me t from buying Auction again. However, when I saw this beauty hamper, I mean, I love beauty stuff. So it wasn't like a crazy amount of money to spend. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. It's not that bad and I think it'll be worth it for the video. When you have a YouTube channel, you kind of, you need to put money into it because I need to buy things to show you guys. I need to try things out so you don't have to. So you do have to spend money on your channel. So some videos are kind of like budget for, which this is one of those. Anyway, um, let me tell you what I spent. So £70 is the winning bid on this hamper but then uh it was 10 pounds delivery and then you have a, what's called a buyer's premium when you buy auction and this is 25 percent at john pie so it's 25 percent of your winning bid like added on top of your bid so that was another 17.50 and then they add that on top of everything they add that on top of your winning bid on top of your delivery cost and on top of the buyer's premium so you do end up paying a lot more for what you're buying at auction compared to what you win it for so the total VAT was 19, was it 18.50? It was 18.50 or 19. I can't even read my own writing. <laughs> anyway, total that I paid for this is 117 pounds. So bear in mind, I won it for 70, but I've actually paid 117 pounds. The way it works, you win it at auction, they send you an invoice and you have like three days to pay your invoice off and then they send it to you or they, 
sometimes if you buy bigger items you can do collection and i do have another video coming up because this wasn't the only thing that i bought at auction so if you want to see what else i did buy and i'm talking big things furniture from liquidated stock that's gonna be my next video well that's gonna be a video very soon that one uh you could do collection or delivery but generally with the beauty stuff it looks like smaller things are delivery only but i didn't think 10 pounds was that bad for delivery and it's a huge box and the weight of this is crazy so 117 pounds and the total cost of everything in this hamper retail price and i actually searched for the lowest prices that i could find things online that you could buy it at the time of filming this video and it adds up to 839 pounds and 94p so you do the maths 117 pounds paid worth 839.94 retail and i need to look into resale because i don't fully understand why these products are in auction i don't know whether like maybe some things are out of date i think some of it is discontinued stuff maybe it's returns that haven't been opened i don't really fully understand why if anybody knows how these new items end up in auction please let me know because i do plan to resell things obviously the idea of buying things at auction is normally for your own personal reasons if you need stuff but also people do it as like a money making thing so you go to auction you buy stuff for cheap and then you resell it and you make money on it i would like to try and do that with this so um yeah but I, I'm, I'm not too sure how that's going to work with things like products people are going to use i'm not as comfortable as that as like selling like furniture if you know what i mean anyway let's get into the unboxing oh god when i tell you this is heavy i am not joking you so this is my parcel um this is the company that I bought it from, John Pie Auctions. This is how it comes packaged. The box was quite kind of, um, I don't know, it was rustic, let's put it that way. And I'm just going, oh yeah, there was a few random things in it, like this curtain tie, this was just kind of like draped across it, it as like decor. <laughs> I was like, really? This has not made me want to buy it more because it has this random, I think it's a curtain tie. I don't really know what else you would use that for. But anyway, that is, I didn't add that into the cost of things. It's just a random thing. There's also like a little hair slide as well that they put in here. Oh, here, look. <laughs> this also came in it and I just thought that is horrible. Um, why is that added in? But I think they just... They tried to make it look prettier. They also put it on a towel. I'm gonna insert a little bit of footage now so you can see me actually opening this because I did need to open it up before this video because I really wanted to be able to add it all together and tell you in the video what I paid and how much it's worth. So that's why I did pre-open this. And there were some massive surprises along the way. So I really, really hope that you guys enjoy this video. I tried to kind of package it back and make it look pretty, but here is the hamper of goodies. So I'm gonna sit down and go through all of this with you now. Okay, let's get into it. So like I said, I'll pop on the screen the retail price of each of these products as I talk about them. I'm actually out of breath from lifting the thing because I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that all the products you can see on top are not everything. When you lift the towel up, underneath is a load more hidden products. So the first product in here is this La Roche-Posay Invisible Fluid 50 Plus. It's basically like SPF for the face. Brand new in the packaging, full size, um, 50 mil. Next, we have this, which I'm quite excited about because I actually already use this product range. And this is the L'Oreal LV Dream Lengths Heat Slayer Iron Spray. The only thing with this one is it does have a missing cap on it, but I mean, that's no problem to me. Um, and it is completely full and brand new. You can't really see, but you can feel that it is a completely full brand new product. I'm gonna get this one over and done with because this was the one product I talked about that looked very used. And it is this Body Shop Vitamin C Skin Reviver Instant Smoother uh, Face Cream, I think it is. So it has no cap on it, but actually when you look kind of closely into the little like nib bit here, you can see that there's like old product dried up in there. So it's definitely been pumped and used, um, which is not ideal. So this one I'll just be throwing straight in the bin actually, which is a bit of a shame, but it does feel quite full still, but yeah, definitely been used. Okay a product that I'm very excited to see in here. And it is this body spray. 
I love the Sol de Janeiro products. They smell so good, but they are so incredibly expensive. Um, but this is the, I think it's hair and body spray, hair and body fragrance mist, the pistachio and salted caramel fragrance. It's so good. The only thing again is it's missing the cap. Actually, everything that was supposed to have a cap, not everything, but most things that's supposed to have a cap, um, they're missing. So perhaps that is why these have ended up in here because they can't be sold have a cap I don't know but um this honestly I'm just gonna spray it now because this oh it's just incredible it smells so good and um, this is also a really big one too so what this is 240 mil and staying with the same brand I have this body wash well shower cream body wash whatever you want to call it um, it's in the Brazilian foreplay range and these just smell so good. They're like really rich. We can see it is brand new. It still has a seal on it here. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very excited to use this one. This is a really nice product. These are so expensive as well, these products, but they are very nice. It's also huge as well, 385 mil. And then we have this cream, which I already use and love, although I've not replaced my one that I used up a couple of months ago because it's so expensive, but it is so worth it. It definitely, no other body cream beats this one. And um, this is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And again, we can see it's completely sealed. The, the little kind of plastic wrap that goes around is still on there. So I'm really, really excited to see this high-end brand in this hamper because it really does make it worth the money. I think even with the Sol de Janeiro products I've got, that probably pays for the whole palette because I have more of them. Yeah, so that prop, not palette, is a hamper. It's like a mini palette, actually. I'll show you what it's in at the end. The Sol de Janeiro products probably actually cover the cost anyway, and they're all brand new. I can't see like dates on them and stuff. So I don't really know like whether they're out of date or something. I don't know why this would be returned. It looks really good condition. And then I have this mini gift set with all of the same products I've just shown you, but miniatures in here, which is amazing because I've got ones that I can use at home. These things I'm definitely not selling because I love them, especially for the summer months coming up. This can be perfect. I'm actually going to save this one and take this away with me when I go away in August, which is going to be for mine and Ollie's wedding. We're actually, I mean, this is a real side note. Um, but I've talked about it in other videos, so I'll just talk about it again because I'm very excited. We're heading off to the Grand Canyon to get married this August. So this is going to be my little travel set that I'm going to take with me. It is the Bum Bum Summer Jet Set gift set. And you basically get exactly what I've just shown you, but little miniatures in here. And this is just feels completely brand new as well. I don't know why. Yeah, it just smells so new. I don't know why it's in here. So we have a little mini one of those, 30 mil. Then we have the mini shower cream, which is 90 mil. And then we also have a mini bum bum cream, which is 50 mil. And these all look brand new. Let's check. Yep, we have the seal on there. Um, yeah, so brand new and ready for me to take away. By the way, guys, this is gonna be a really, really long video. So I do apologize for that. I know my intro was like massively long as well, but in like in my other auction videos, I just feel like at the beginning of the video, I need to explain how much things cost and how it works before I just get straight into the video because I feel like you guys are only gonna ask those questions anyway. So I might as well answer them in the video. But if you do have any other questions about this, then leave me a comment down below. Okay, next up, I have quite a lot of products from the Kerastase. I don't know, I'm probably saying that totally wrong. Hair care range. It's a brand that I've never used, but since kind of researching it and finding out a little bit about it, I realised that it is a very expensive hair care brand and also a lot of nice kind of high-end hair salons use this brand. So these are definitely something that I'm going to resell um, if I can after kind of checking dates and stuff. Um, because it, it, I just don't use these products and um, I think I could probably sell these and get a little bit of my money back from the hamper for them. So we have the Curl Manifesto um, Shampoo. This is for curly hair um, and it's full size, 250 mil. Then I have this one, which is, oh, I don't know how to say these things, Bane Magistral. Uh, this is another shampoo. This is for severely dried out hair. And then I also have this one, which is Bane Satin One, which is 
another shampoo for normal to slightly dry hair. And yeah, all of these are 250 ml. I do have a vintage account, which I'm gonna put all of the products that I don't wanna keep on if I'm happy to sell them. So um, if you guys are interested in any of these videos, I'll leave my Vinted linked down below and just keep an eye on it. I mean, I probably won't upload them straight away, but keep an eye on it because you might see some of these products cropping up on there. Okay, next up, I'm sure everybody has heard of this brand. It's a very high-end hair care brand. It is Olaplex. And this is the number four bond maintenance shampoo, 250 ml. So it's a full size home care bottle. And I probably will keep this one to be honest because I already used some Olaplex products so yeah I'll probably keep that one. Okay next up I have a little shower oil from, I'm really bad at pronouncing brand names, La, La Ocotane, <laughs> I don't know how you say it, I've just noticed my top also is really bobbly so I do apologise for that, I do wear it a lot, obviously I've worn it too much. Cleansing and softening shower oil with almond oil. It is a little mini one, so I think this is like a, you know, like a travel size. There's 75 mil in there. Then I have this gift set from Benefit, which is a lovely thing to find in here because these are very popular products. I think I can definitely resell this. Um, in here, you get the Benefit Give Me Brow, you get the Their Real Magnet Mascara, and you also get a little mini professional primer so a really nice little set here the the gimme brow and the mascara is full size and the professional is a little mini one and the gift set is called stamp of beauty and it looks like it was a christmas gift set so perhaps this is just like leftover stock from christmas it's got little stockings on it and stuff so yeah maybe just like leftover stock from christmas i'm not really sure um next i have this lip liner which is from pretty little thing I think it's called Ambreezy. I'm not actually not sure. I think it's a range. I did I did look into it. Um, I've never bought any makeup from PLT, so I don't know what this is like. It's in shade number three, brownstone. So yeah, just a nice neutral lip liner. Probably something I'll just keep. But it is completely sealed. The tape is still over each end here, so definitely not used. Okay, next I have this product from Fudge Urban, which is the Rough Up Sea Salt Surf Texture. I think it's just like a spray that you put in your hair, you know, to give it that like sea salt textured feel. 150 ml full size product. Okay, next up I have this one, which again has the lid missing from the pump. Um, this is Advanced Techniques by Avon, Absolute Nourishment Treatment Oil. I don't think this one is used. I mean, some products always have like a little bit down like that anyway, um, but this, this one feels quite old, like the packaging's all a bit like beat up. You might not be able to tell that on camera, but it definitely feels a little bit older. Um, so I just feel like this is something I'm, I don't know, I might use it myself or I might just throw this one away, but I definitely won't be reselling this one. Also on Vintage, you're not allowed to sell any used makeup beauty products. So I need to be careful with that. Next, we have a perfume and it is this one from Estee Lauder. I actually really like this one. And what's so funny about this, this has, you know like when you play like a raffle at a fair or something, it has like the number on it like that with the John Pye website written underneath it. So this is the only product with this on it, which is weird. Um, so I don't understand the difference between this and whether, how they chose this to go in here. I, I, I really don't know, but that doesn't stop me from wanting to buy it. I mean, this is incredible, but this is brand new. You can see it's still in the packaging here, hasn't been used. This is a 50 mil, so full size product. And I do actually like this perfume, I think. I think I like it. Okay, another really lovely product to see in here, something I've used before and I do actually love. This one, is it sealed? It's got like a random, I don't think that's from it. It has got like a little seal thing on it. But I think that's from another product. The packaging on this one looks a little bit beat about. There's like little tears here, little marks all over it. So I don't know if maybe that's the reason it's been sold. It's definitely brand new. It's like completely filled to the top. It's just such a nice product though. This is the Ready Steady Glow Tonic, um, which I'll probably keep this one. I have used it before and I do love it, but this is a really lovely product to see in here. Next up, I have this hand cream from Sanctuary Spa. This is from their signature collection, 75 ml sheer butter and cocoa butter scent. And it was, so it's the signature scent from Sanctuary Spa. 
um, which I do love that scent, so I'll probably um, use this one myself. Okay, next up we have another product from La Roche-Posay. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, this is a 50 plus pigment correct skin tint, I think. So it's basically like an SPF for your skin, but it has a little bit of color in it as well to even out the skin tone, I think. Um, it's in shade light, so I actually think this one probably would work for me myself. So I will keep hold of this and use it. Oh, this one has the date on the back. November 2024. So definitely not out of date. So I do not know why. Why it's ended up in here. I don't know. Because I looked online. These are still being sold now. Oh, this one has a cap, which is good. Um, but yeah, they're still being sold now. So it's not like they're being discontinued. But it must be something to do with returns. Maybe if you buy skincare from certain brands or certain online companies, like, for example, Look Fantastic or something, and they get returned. I don't know this, this is just me surmising, but maybe they, I don't know, they get resold or something, like they can't be put back into normal sale. Don't know, if anybody understands the process, please let me know. Oh, this is an exciting one. We have a product from Charlotte Tilbury. I was actually bidding on another hamper, which seemed to show a lot of products from Charlotte Tilbury and I really wanted to win that one but the price was going up and up probably because it had Charlotte Tilbury in it so for me the price was just getting a little bit too high because I've not done this before I didn't want to risk too much of my money um but there was one Charlotte Tilbury product in this box and it is the airbrush flawless finish mini powder which is really cute I mean look at the box probably why this one's being resold the box is totally bashed up I'm going to open it though because I'm definitely going to keep this one for myself anyway. Oh my god, it's so cute. Look at that. It's a tiny, tiny little Charlotte Tilbury powder. It is in shade Fair, which is the one I would have used anyway. Um, oh, opened it up. Completely unused. Brand new. Looks absolutely fine. Even has a little mirror on here as well. Um, very, very happy to find that in here. Next up, a product from Morphe. This is the Hint Hint Skin Tint, sheer to medium coverage skin tint in 30 mil. The shade is Hint of Butterscotch, tan with neutral olive undertones. So I think this definitely won't be for me. So I'll probably pop this one on Vinted. But it looks totally brand new. Yeah, that is gonna be slightly too dark for me even when I tan I'm probably not that dark I've never used this product before so I don't even know what it's like but I do like the sound of it I like the idea that it is sheer to medium coverage and more of a tint it would be nice for the summer this is something that I have used before and I do love it but it's very expensive for what it is and there are other things you can buy that are cheaper that do a similar job but you know I got it in here so I can't really complain about it it is the Nooks Nux Nukes I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's Nux. I don't know. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and this is the multi-purpose dry oil face, body and hair. It nourishes, it leaves a satin finish and illuminates. This looks like it's totally brand new and unused. Just check here. Yep, that looks pretty unused to me. 50 mil in here as well. So it is a full size product. This was a bit of a weird one. I don't really understand why this is in here, but like a little bag from Locutane again, that brand. Um, this is something, I don't know, this probably had like a gift set in it or something and they just like popped it in because it had the orange on there. You've probably noticed that everything that I've showed you has some little hint of orange or yellow or mustard. And I'm pretty sure that's how they just decide how these hampers go together. I have another product from this hair care brand again. And this is the 8 Hour Magic Night Serum for dry hair, overnight nourishing serum. Also, I have noticed that this product has leaked a little bit around here, um, but it does still feel quite full, but it's just leaked a bit. Oh, that smells nice. I'll probably just keep that and use that myself, really. Okay, I have a setting powder here from the Beauty Crop. And this is in shade Fair. I think I've been really, really lucky with this hamper that everything that I would use, apart from the Morphe foundation, things are in my colour, which is really cool. This is the Fair One setting powder. It's called Vitamin Babe from the Beauty Crop. I'm really starting to lose my voice now. I need to try and <laughs> get through this. We've still got a lot more to go. 
oh, did you hear that? That's what happens. It like goes all weird. And I'm like, why am I talking like that? Very irritating. Oh, this was a product that I hadn't heard about before. Um, but actually when I looked into it, I think it was like worth something like 72 pounds or something. It was worth a lot of money. Uh, it's called Naked and Thriving and it is the Rejuvenate Restorative Face Oil 35ml, so full size, and it looks totally unused and brand new, like there's not been a drop used out of there. Um, definitely gonna resell this one because I won't use um, a facial oil myself, so this will definitely be going on Vinted and hopefully I can get some good money back for it. I mean, considering I paid £117 for all of this and this one product is £72. It says it improves the appearance of fine lines, elasticity while providing a healthy glow. It does sound nice, maybe I should use it, but I just feel like I want to try and recoup the money that I've spent and this feels like a good product to do that with. Next up, this one was actually one of the most exciting products, apart from the Sol de Janeiro stuff, which I love. This one was a surprising find for me. I've never heard of the brand. It's from the brand called Mallow's Beauty, uh, that's their Instagram name. Um, but it is a gingerbread shave butter. So I'm sure this one was just discontinued because it's like Christmas stock or something. It feels like a, a from an indie brand or something. I don't know, I should have looked up the brand a bit more. It's made in the UK, which is cool. It says it's vegan. But the best thing about this is the smell. I mean, look how cool it looks inside. But the smell of this is insane. Oh my God, I feel so, I'm struggling with that now because I'm sensitive. But that is a really, really lovely scent. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it as well. I also love the idea of a shave butter because I do shave my legs. I mean, I shave everywhere. And I normally just use whatever shower gel I'm using or I'll use conditioner because I like the feeling of conditioner on my skin to shave with. It just makes it less irritated and it goes smoother. But then it wastes my conditioner, so it's probably not the best thing to do. So this is really cool. To just find this product in here is probably something that hopefully I'm gonna use and love, but then also I might repurchase it. So this one, interestingly on the bottom, it says batch code. I don't think batch code means that it, the date that it runs out. I think that must mean the date that it was made. So I don't know, maybe, it, maybe it'll say on here how long it should last, but. Oh, 12 months from opening. And it says it was made on, oh no, because batch code, the 9th of, January 23, which obviously has already passed. Yeah, because they wouldn't have made it then, would they? Because why would they be making Christmas products in January? Like Christmas is already gone. So maybe that is the date that it runs out and this one is out of date. I mean, I'm still gonna use it because it smells really good. It doesn't smell out of date. <laughs> if that's even an indicator. I won't sell this one because of the unknown date situation but I will enjoy using it myself. Next is a baking powder from Revolution. This is the Banana Baking Powder Super Matte Fix No Flashback. And this one still has the seal. So, you know, like it's completely sealed. Nothing's gonna come out of there. So this is brand new. I'll probably resell this one. Then I have this from Sunkissed Skin. Uh, this is Collagen and Vitamin C Skin Firming Serum. Vegan, 95% natural, 30 ml. This is the Mio Future Proof Body Butter. It's like a little mini one and it is an intense mega moisturizer, 30 ml you get in there. So a little travel one. Okay, so this is what happened to me when I was checking prices and everything on this. So, that is me, like I've got rid of everything that I just showed you at the beginning of the video there. Right, anyway, I need to talk about this random. Whoever's designed this has very interesting design skills. So we've got this orange towel here, which obviously comes included. Then we have this little bit of fake grass, just to like add a little bit of texture into our hamper. So, you know, that might come in handy. But when I was opening this, I thought I'd finished and then I lifted the towel off and there is a load more products in here. And now you can see what I mean by mini palette. So this is actually what it comes in, this green sort of mini palette type thing. There is loads, I mean loads, we're gonna go through it anyway, but look at the size of this. And this is a very popular skincare product, the CeraVe stuff. And I have a shed load of it in here. Let's go through this. 
So I have, I think two of these hydrating cleansers. Yep. So two massive hydrating cleansers from CeraVe. Um, these are one litre each. So I have two litres of the stuff. I don't actually use this one myself, so definitely will be reselling it. It still has the caps on it around here, showing that it is brand new. They feel completely heavy and full up. Um, yeah, and they're just looking really, really good condition. So very, very excited when I unboxed this and found all of these extra goodies underneath. I did wonder why it was so heavy. You can see now why I feel like the £10 delivery charge is not bad at all. And um, this product's probably gonna go straight in the bin. Um, it's all leaking, but it is the Sanex Dermo Kids bath and like shower gel sort of thing. But they put it in a bag, which is good because obviously it is leaking. Um, oh, the bag's split though. But yeah, this, oh no, the bag has split. That's probably my fault from opening it up before. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to chuck this one in the bin. But yeah, that comes in there. It does feel very full, to be honest. It probably is new, but it's just damaged. And it's now all over the stuff in here. These did look a lot cleaner before I touched them. So we have another one, Blemish Control here. This is 236 mil. I think this is your normal full size one. The other one's like your mega full size. You can see the difference in the size between these two. But yeah, I'll probably keep this one for myself actually because I'm interested to try it out. The Blemish Control Cleanser, 236 mil. Then I have a, I think I've got two more of these. I've got two more small hydrating cleansers. Um, and these are the 236 mil again. Foaming cleanser, uh, this is for normal to oily skin. I'll probably try that one out myself as well. Oh, I've got another blemish control cleanser as well. So I've got two of those. Yeah, this one sounds really good. Three essential ceramides, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. This one sounds really nice. I definitely want to try that. I've actually never tried any of the CeraVe stuff, but I know it is very, very popular. So I think I'll be able to sell this stuff easily. So yeah, another blemish control there. And then we also have this one, which is the SA Smoothing Cleanser for dry, rough and bumpy skin. 236 mil again. Um, and yeah, it's looking brand new. Oh yeah, that's the only thing. The smaller ones don't have the little bit of plastic around them, but maybe they're not supposed to have that because none of them do. But yeah, these all look full and unused. I mean, you can normally, I don't want to start pumping them in case I'm going to sell them, but you can normally tell, can't you, if it's popped up yet. Now we have some more big ones. They're not as big. Oh, look at this. I didn't notice this before. This one is damaged. My voice is getting to the end of its capabilities. My eyes probably look really glossed open now because I've just had a coughing fit. This is dedication to YouTube. This one, uh, yeah, it's a shame it's broken across there. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'll probably just keep it and use it or something, but it is another hydrating cleanser, but this is in the 473 mil. So this is massive in itself, but it's still not as massive as this one. And I have another in the same size. Oh, this one's broken as well. Why didn't I notice this before? Um, so these have the, the kind of pumps missing. Um, so this one is the foaming cleanser for normally, normally, <laughs> that was a mix between normal and oily. Normal to oily skin, normally. This is the 473 mil. So I think what I'll do is I'll keep this one for myself and I'll sell the smaller one of these that I've got. Um, then we have this in here, which is a, is this a body lotion? Oh, this is interesting. It's not even in English at all. It's so interesting. So how has this ended up here? Because it's, you know, sometimes they have the same brands in other countries, but they have like different ranges and stuff. I'm wondering if this is a different range from Nivea because I've not seen it before on any of our shelves here. But yeah, 250 mil and it does feel completely full and brand new. Then we have this product from Original Source. It's the Mint and Tea Tree Shower Gel. Ollie actually loves this. So um, yeah, I'll be able to just give this to him and he can use it, but it's massive, 500 mil. We have another product from CeraVe here, which is S which is the SA Smoothing Cream. So it kind of goes with that cleanser that we were looking at earlier. And this says it exfoliates, softens and smooths rough skin whilst helping to restore the skin's barrier. I actually might use this one myself. Oh, this one, the seal is broken. Let's have a look and see if the cream looks like someone's dipped their fingers in. Oh, actually looks brand new in the pot, but the seal is broken here. These, brand I've never heard of, but these were 
worth, I think when I looked, it was about £40, something like that. Worth quite a lot of money. The brand is called Nassif MD Derma Cuticles. Um, Suticles. Cuticles. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not well, okay? Give me a break. I'm not well. Derma Suticles. I know how you say that, really. I know it's not Derma Cuticles. <laughs> um, these are the detox pads. Complexion perfecting pads. Uh, you get 60 pads in here. And I think I found that you could buy them on QVC and that was like the only place I could find them. But I actually love using pads like this in the morning. So I'll probably maybe keep, I don't know, it's completely sealed though, you can see here. Might be a good one to sell actually. And then last up, I have this lovely gift set from This Works, which is a brand that I do already use and love. They're really, I love their bed range actually, it's really nice. I have the pillow mist. Oh, I've got another one here. So deep sleep pillow spray, deep sleep shower gel and deep sleep body cocoon you get in here. And they're all quite big sizes actually. Let's see if they've been used. Looks pretty good inside, doesn't look very used. No, these feel completely brand new, unused, even got their seals on them, look. So yeah, really, really happy with this one. I basically just want to make back at least what I paid. And then that means that I've got all of that Sol de Janeiro stuff for free. That is, that's my goal with this. So that is my little palette. I say little, that was an absolute massive hamper of beauty products that I bought at auction that I'm very, very excited about. I really hope that you guys found this video interesting. I was definitely very, very excited to film it and just so shocked at what I did get in this hamper and how much I paid and how much it was worth. This was 100% worth doing, which is not what I could say for my previous auction video. But this one, definitely a thumbs up. Obviously, if you are gonna shop on auction and you're gonna do this for yourselves, just really look into it, check all the extra fees and stuff like that and make sure that it is gonna be worth it. I did go back on to actually, when I, when I realized how good this hamper was, I actually went back on to buy another hamper because I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do another video on this and see if they're all as good as this. But then they didn't have any on there. So I don't know whether I was really lucky to find a hamper like this or whether they just have them come up every so often. But I'll leave the website link down below. You can sign up and you don't have to like pay anything to sign up. You can literally just sign up and get an account with them. And it means that then you can look through everything that they have at their auction house. And they have auction houses all over the country. I am going to be doing another video very soon where I show you me buying liquidated stock at auction from a very well-known brand. So that is going to be coming up very soon. I'll talk a little bit more about the auction then. But yeah, um, if you are going to have a look, I definitely... I feel like the beauty stuff is, is fine. I mean, you've got to make the decision for yourself. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed and you love videos like this, then please consider subscribing as I will be doing more of these. But I really hope you guys are staying well, unlike me. I feel like everyone's ill at the moment though. I am actually looking forward to a little bit of warmer weather just to rid all of these colds and flus. And yeah, everybody's ill at the moment. Not fun. So I hope you guys are doing okay and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.